do you hear that? Sounds like someone's arguing over there. Let's go see what's happening. After all these years, Senpai, I was hoping it would never come to settling this with real swords. Cut out that weak-sounding nonsense. Come on, it's between you and me. There can be only one victor. Uh, why are those two fighting on the road? <laughs> Someone else is here. Hey, get away from here, you two! Yeah, we're disciples of the Kono Ito art and are about to settle things with a duel. We don't want anyone getting in the way, especially outsiders like you who know nothing of the sword arts. of the sword arts. When it comes to wielding a sword, the traveler here is super strong. Eh? So, you're just another person looking to steal our chance to compete. In that case, we'd better team up and deal with this outsider first. What say you, senpai? Sounds like a plan to me. Cascade! <laughs> what just I do? You finally got them to stop. Hey, you two! This is all just a big misunderstanding! We're just passing through here. We didn't want to steal anything. <coughs> oh, senpai, how could this happen? This youngster completely overwhelmed us with only a few moves. I thought this would be our chance to show the power of the Kono Ito art to the world. Who knew we would be defeated before we even set foot in the arena? Uh, no need to say any more. What happened here only proves that we're out of our depth. <sighs> Master did always tell us that no matter how strong you may become, there is always someone stronger. But we didn't listen. As for this entry ticket, I'm afraid that no matter which of us use it, the results would be the same. Wait, what are you two mumbling about? each other's throats just a moment ago. I'm sorry for the misunderstanding. We're disciples of the Kono Ito art. Just now, we were about to duel to see who would enter the Warrior Spirit Sword Fighting Exhibition. This competition is very important to any practitioner of the sword arts, and since we rarely see anyone pass through here, we mistook you for a competitor trying to steal our entry ticket. <sighs> Again, I apologize. Uh, uh, just a moment, please. If it wasn't for you, I would have never realized my own inadequacy. Right. Our fight just now was a real eye-opener. I know now that I must further cultivate both my mind and my swordsmanship. Senpai, I have an idea. Why don't we give the entry ticket to him? Fine by me. Only a real swordsman is qualified to stand in the warrior spirit arena. We still require more training. Wait, you mean you want the Traveler to compete instead of you? It's up to you if you want to join. Either way, this entry ticket is useless to us now. We bid you two farewell. And there they go! Just like that! Ugh. So what do we do about this entry ticket they left us? Hmm, let Paimon see here. Warrior Spirit Sword Fighting Competition, hosted by the Ashiro Commission. Hmm, since it's being held by the Ashiro Commission, why don't we go to the Kamisato Estate and ask about it? Traveler, Paimon, good to see you. Unfortunately, both the Commissioner and Miss Kamisato are out on business for the day. They are not here at the estate. Them today. Actually, we were hoping to ask about the Warrior Spirit Sword Fighting Exhibition. You know, the event being hosted by the Ashiro Commission. Ah, so the Traveler wants to enter the competition too. I'm terribly sorry, but we were flooded with applicants and all the entry tickets were already issued last week. But if you want tickets to see the final exhibition match, I'll see what I can do. Perhaps I can get you some. Oh, no, no! Let us explain! We were to get our hands on an entry ticket today, but we haven't decided whether or not to participate. We wanted to get some info about it first. 
From the sound of it, this competition is really popular. Indeed. Warrior's Spirit is a competition with a rich history in Inazuma. Not only is it a good opportunity for martial artists to test their strength, but it is also a form of honor. The Almighty Shogun hopes to use this opportunity to spread the elegance of the art of the sword to more people. The upcoming competition has introduced many new formats to appeal to a wide variety of spectators. Traveler, since you already have an entry ticket, you should enter the competition. It is a rare opportunity after all. By the way, given you've only heard about the competition today, you probably don't know yet, but Miss Kamisato just... Why hesitate when faced with such a great opportunity? If you're not honored to be a part of Warrior Spirit, there's no need for you to hold on to that entry ticket. There are plenty of others who are eager to enter. What are you saying, Hirotatsu? That's not how we speak to our guests. I don't mean any insult, Madarame. On the contrary, I would love to see the Traveler in action. Everyone here has heard of you. Even Miss Kamisato thinks highly of you. I always assumed you'd be someone we'd all look up to. But now it seems everything we heard were nothing more than rumors. You lack spirit. And as for your swordsmanship, well, I'm sure it's mediocre at best. Otherwise, you wouldn't hesitate even for a second about joining the competition. Hey, come on, Hirotatsu. The Traveler isn't from a martial family. Besides, spirit and swordsmanship can also be displayed other ways besides competitions. Can you believe this guy? That makes two groups of people talking down to us on the same day! Ugh, there's nothing Paimon hates more than people underestimating the Traveler when they don't even know him! Well, maybe feeling hungry is worse, but still! You can run your mouth all you like, but this isn't something that can be proven with words. I, Hiratatsu, am a true warrior and don't need to go around bragging to make a name for myself. I'll take my leave now. Uh, I apologize about Hiratatsu. He's the type of person that tends to just say whatever comes to his mind. Does that mean you're entering the competition? Great! Paimon approves! Show not the sharpest samurai that you're the real deal! The competition starts on Rito in two days. I didn't get a chance to tell you just now, but Miss Kamisato left for Rito today to discuss competition matters with Miss Hiragi Chisato. Oh, really? In that case, let's go meet Ayaka and Rito! We can ask her for more details about the competition! Traveler Paimon, nice to see you again. Welcome back to Inazuma. Nice to see you too, Ayaka. Actually, we've decided to enter the Warrior Spirit Sword Fighting Exhibition. We heard you two were making preparations on Rito, so we thought we'd come and check things out. What a coincidence. We just finished talking about the Archon's Emissary and whether the Traveler would be interested in the exhibition. And now here you are. The Archon's Emissary? What's that? Oh, you've never heard of it? Didn't you come rushing back to Inazuma because of Miss Ayaka's letter? Letter? What letter? Uh, never mind that now. Paimon, you were asking about the Archon's Emissary? Yeah, what's that? The Archon's Emissary has a special responsibility in the Warrior Spirit event. However, it's hard to describe without touching on the origins of this event. Warrior spirit originated from ancient Inazuman legends. It is said that a long time ago, the martial artist who is crowned champion would be granted the special honor of meeting and engaging in a sword duel with the Almighty Shogun. However, the Almighty Shogun was far more powerful than any human being. In a direct confrontation, the duel would be over in an instant. Therefore, 
The almighty shogun would send one of her familiars as an emissary to the martial artist, who would then provide assistance and protection in the fight against the shogun. Because the almighty shogun decided to convey her skills and the will to protect the citizens of Inazuma through the form of martial arts, the duel was then aptly named Warrior Spirit. Later, the event evolved into a competition that focused on the art of swordsmanship, and the tradition of a duel with the divine has been retained as the final exhibition match of the competition. This final match allows later generations to understand the origin of warrior spirit and the meaning of martial arts. Whoa! Sounds like a pretty important event! Yes. Nowadays, the Almighty Shogun won't attend the exhibition match in person, but she will still send a special envoy to fight on her behalf to display her divine strength. Of course, the role of the martial artist goes to the winner of the competition, and the divine familiar will be fulfilled by a true swordsman, a role also known as the Archon's Emissary. This time, I will be fulfilling the role of the Archon's Emissary. Oh, so that's what this is all about! Paimon gets why this competition is so popular now! After all, Ayaka is popular among the citizens of Inazuma. Paimon's right. Though the Shirasaki Himegimi attends some festival ceremonies from time to time, it's not often that we get to see her excellent swordsmanship up close. The Almighty Shogun said that this time, we need to host a competition aimed at the public and recruit a powerful ambassador to promote it. With that in mind, Ayaka was appointed as the Archon's Emissary. Oh, and by the way, this is Onodera from Yai Publishing House. He specializes in organizing events and was sent to assist us. He was the one who suggested that Ayaka be the Archon's emissary. In addition, he proposed two strategies to increase the popularity of the competition, expanding the target audience and increasing word of mouth. His ideas have been most effective. Wow, those ideas sound pretty professional. But, uh, what are actually mean? Well, expanding the target audience means getting more people involved in the competition. Previously, competitors were required to be practitioners of one of Inazuma's schools of swordsmanship. However, this time, the requirements are different. Anyone who has a passion for martial arts can participate, regardless of nationality or status. Some combat regulations have similarly been adjusted. Weapons are no longer limited to one-handed swords. Any close-range weapon that meets the length and weight requirements can be used. As for increasing word of mouth, in my personal experience, the most effective method is to hold a vote. That's right. In the past, it was the Almighty Shogun who decided what the Archon's Emissary would wear in the exhibition match. But this time, with support from the Almighty Shogun, we'll be giving that choice to the audience. People can vote on one of the four seasonal styles, such as cherry blossoms or autumn leaves. Miss Kamisato will wear whichever outfit receives the most votes. Although voting won't begin until the day of the competition, my retainers have already been speculating on which theme will win. These plans are only possible because Miss Kamisato agreed to be the Archon's emissary. I know this must be a lot of pressure for you, Miss Kamisato. No, not at all. It's an honor for me to have an opportunity to promote the sword arts. If anything, it's your dedication to the event that everyone will appreciate. You flatter me, Miss Kamisato. <clears throat> now then, I must get back to preparing some final details regarding the vote. So please, excuse me. Traveler Paimon, now that you're here, Miss Chisato and I can show you around the competition venue. That'd be great! Let's go! Whoa! Now this is an arena! Oh, Paimon had no idea the Outlander Affairs Agency would have a place like this! This is the indoor training area for the Kanjo Commission. It's thanks to Miss Chisato that we were able to use this venue. You're very welcome, Miss Hayaka. I'm only happy I could help. Oh, Chisato, what's that over there? Oh, that? Well, it's... <clears throat> Traveler, do you have a moment to talk? Hmm. Where should I begin? Ah, uh, yes, that. Nothing slips by you. To be honest, I felt a little apprehensive when I first heard that everyone wanted me to be the Archon's emissary. 
I've been making public appearances ever since I was a child, but this is the first time I've ever acted as the ambassador for such an event, not to mention wearing an extravagant outfit while participating in combat. In the past, only the most skilled swordsmen of a reputable clan in Inazuma were qualified to be the Archon's emissary. I'm afraid my skills can't even begin to compare to theirs. I was worried that I might not be up to the task, so I wanted to write to you and ask for your advice at that time. Yes, I know. But that's probably why I didn't send the letter in the end. You've helped me many times before, and you've always lent me your ear when I speak about my troubles. But if I'm always turning to you for help, it almost feels like you're somehow besting me. <laughs> Is it strange for a friend to think that way? Thank you. I was really delighted to learn that you also entered the competition. Hey, Erica! Uh huh? What were you two chatting about? I was just saying that it's delightful to have the Traveler join the competition. Given his reputation in Inazuma, the competition is sure to be even more exciting. <laughs> yep, having the Traveler join will definitely heat things up a little. Paimon's right. I look forward to seeing you perform. It's getting late and Miss Chisato and I must return now. The two of you should have a good rest for the next couple days. I'll see you on the day of the competition. Thanks, you two. Will do. See you on the day of the competition. Oh, look! There's Ayaka and Chisato! Ah, Traveler Paimon, you made it! Did you rest well yesterday? That's the Traveler, composed as always. Mm-hmm. It's important to keep a good mood before a competition. We're in it to win it! Looks like you all are in good spirits today. Everything should be set to go for the opening match. Speaking of which, are these two boxes for voting? That's right. I've arranged everything. The box on the left contains the ballots for Warrior Spirit, while the box on the right is for the other events. The results will be revealed in the third round of the competition. And given how strong the Traveler is, you're practically guaranteed to make the third round, right? You bet! Mr. Onodera, we'll start with the box for Warrior Spirit, then. All right. Thank you. Things are about to start soon! Let's head to the arena! Good luck, Traveler. I hope you'll do well in the competition. Well, Miss Ayaka and I should go watch the matches. See you later!
didn't expect the votes to differ by that much. I thought for sure that Masako would win, given that warrior spirit is a competition unique to Inazuma. Just as I predicted. After all, the case files of Miss Orith is a recent bestseller. Not only is the story interesting, but the book's illustrations of Fontaine outfits are also really unique. Besides, don't you think that Miss Orth's character is a good fit for Miss Kamisato? Well, Miss Orth is fiercely competitive, but loves to play pranks on others, which is nearly the complete opposite of Miss Kamisato. <laughs> However, it'll be interesting to see Miss Kamisato in a Fontaine outfit. Huh? What are you talking about? Uh, Paimon's kinda confused. Oh, look! There are some options for the outfits! Pretty please, Kitsune Guji? The case files of Miss Orith? Uh, hold on! Didn't they say the choices were gonna be between the four seasons of Inazuma? When did they switch to cosplay outfits from light novels? Paimon thinks we need to find out what happened. Come on, let's find Ayaka at the Yashiro Commission. I'm terribly sorry. I was the one who mixed up the two voting boxes. By the time Mr. Onodera came back from his business trip, the results had already been announced. In an effort to keep things confidential, we specifically didn't mark the ballots with the title of the poll. I regret that decision now that everything's gone mixed up. No way! Something did go wrong with the outfit voting! Traveler Paimon, it seems you've also heard about the results. Yeah, and we're not the only ones. It felt like everyone we saw on the way here was talking about it. What are you going to do? Miss Kamisato, we're the ones responsible for this blunder. I'll go reorganize a vote right now and we'll set things straight. Please wait, Onodera. There might be yet another solution. The poll error is something that only the competition organizers are aware of. The public didn't seem to notice anything wrong with the ballots. Moreover, there were no complaints when people thought that outfits from popular works would make an appearance in the exhibition match. On the contrary, everyone seemed to think it was a special surprise. Since our goal was to generate interest in the competition, the consequences of this mistake shouldn't be viewed as a blunder. Wait, Ayaka, so do you mean that... Yes, I think we should just make the best of this mistake. In the final exhibition match, I'll simply wear whichever outfit accumulated the most votes. Yes, but that will make things difficult for you, Miss Kamisato. Unlike outfits tailored for martial arts, the outfits from the novels aren't designed for combat. It won't be a problem. The Fontaine-style dress from the novel shouldn't be too heavy, so it won't affect my abilities. I'll try to get used to it, even if it's quite different than something I'm accustomed to wearing. Wow. Ayaka is speaking calmly, but Paimon can still feel her courage. All right, I understand. In that case, we'll proceed with Miss Kamisato's proposal. The outfit we prepare for the reader's meet and greet will be tailored and adjusted according to Miss Kamisato's figure. We'll ensure that the outfit is completely ready for the exhibition match. Thank you. It's a lot to handle, but I'm sure you can manage. Will you really be okay wearing some character's cosplay in the exhibition match? You're not pushing yourself because we're here, are you? No, please don't worry. I actually feel relaxed and even a little joyful at the moment. Before, the thought of wearing a fancy dress on the stage of the exhibition match had me worried. I was concerned about whether I would be presentable enough to meet the audience's expectations. However, if I'm wearing the same clothes as a fictional character, then it shouldn't be too big of an issue. The detective in the novel is known for being mischievous and doing things her own way. Everyone watching the exhibition match will be able to experience something new in a traditional form. And that's not all. Deep down, I've always been looking forward to the day I could wear something different from what I normally do. Traveler, not long after we met, I remember you mentioning that Liyue, Mondstadt, and every nation has their own unique fashion. At that time, I couldn't imagine that one day I would be able to experience all these foreign places. 
But now, all those wishes that were once impossible don't seem so far out of reach. Besides, my mother was always curious about outfits from other countries when she was alive. This time, I will be able to fulfill my mother's dream. Thinking about it that way, this special outfit can indeed be called a surprise. Huh. In that case, this whole accident with the vote turned out to be a good thing. <laughs> well, now that this is all settled, let's get ready and go to the arena. Yes, I know you will do great, Traveler. Onodera and I will also head to the arena to watch your fight once we've confirmed my outfit's measurements. skills are superb. I've been thoroughly bested. Ladies and gentlemen, after an exhilarating battle, the champion for the Warrior Spirit Sword Fighting Exhibition has been decided. Give it up for... The Traveler! Tomorrow, we will conduct the final exhibition match. The Traveler and Miss Kamisato versus the Almighty Shogun's chosen envoy, an autonomous humanoid known as the Magu Kengo. We'll see you then! <sighs> that was a most thrilling match, Traveler. Congratulations, Traveler. You've certainly earned your title as the champion. Paimon had no idea that tomorrow's opponent would be the Magu Kengo. The name sounds similar to that troublesome one we encountered on Yashiori Island. Oh, Paimon doesn't think it'll be an easy fight. Don't worry, Paimon. The Shogun's chosen envoy may be strong, but tomorrow's match doesn't prohibit the use of visions. We'll make a formidable team. As long as we can track its moves, an opportunity to strike back will present itself. Oh, 
Hearing your confidence sure makes my mom feel better. I cannot guarantee that we will win, but we must try our best. If just to give the crowd a show, they will not forget. I can tell you two are already raring to go, but it'd be best to conserve your energy and get some rest tonight. We'll also be able to see Ayaka's new outfit when we wake up tomorrow. Ayaka in a Fontaine dress. Oh, Paimon can't wait! Ah, uh, yes. Oh, well... <laughs> Sounds like there's no way around it, Miss Ayaka. Oh, if I wasn't busy tomorrow, I would have loved to come see as well. Ah, I suppose it's settled then. I'll wait for you at the Kamisato Estate tomorrow morning. Ah, you're finally here. Ugh, it's Hirotatsu. The Traveler already beat you a few days ago and won the championship. What else do you have to say? Don't worry. I'm not here to cause trouble. I just wanted to apologize. Traveler, I lost to you fair and square a few days ago. Your swordsmanship is excellent. Each strike was precise, but not aggressive, which speaks to your character. I ask your forgiveness for misjudging you and offending you with my words and actions. The two of you must be here to pick up Miss Kamisato. She's in the dressing room right now and should be out soon. Traveler, before the young lady comes out, I have a bit of a presumptuous request that I hope you can consider. Although the young lady has never mentioned today's exhibition match to us retainers, she has spared a few hours every evening to practice her swordsmanship, despite how busy she is. The young lady has always been diligent and conscientious, although it's just an exhibition match, and it won't matter if she loses. I trust that she will do her best to win. As a retainer, I do believe in her, of course, but uh, I still hope you can support the young lady in the arena and ensure her safety. Traveler, I leave the young lady in your hands. Oh, that must be Ayaka! wrong with the outfit? Not at all! Ayaka, you look amazing! You're radiating beauty! Just look at it! It even has the crest of the Kami Sato clan embroidered on it! Yes, Onodera had someone from the family make it over the last few days. I heard it was based on suggestions that the spectators had written on the ballots. The outfit is well tailored and offers more freedom of movement than I had expected. Paimon can't wait to see the look on everyone's faces when they see Ayaka! Thank you for the compliments, Paimon. Traveler? Now that we're ready, let's head to the arena. My lady, the Traveler, I wish you all the best in the exhibition match. Hey, look! Miss Kamisato and the Traveler have arrived! Although I've seen illustrations of this outfit before, seeing Miss Kamisato wear it truly brings some unique flair. Oh, it was worth lining up super early to get front row seats. I'm really looking forward to today's match. Wow, Ayaka became the center of attention the moment she appeared. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. The Warrior Spirit Exhibition match is about to begin. Please enter the arena in an orderly fashion and take your seats. Miss Kamisato, Traveler, please come with me. Are you ready, Traveler? Good. Let's give it our best. I look forward to fighting beside you.
overwhelming presence. Certainly worthy of being the Almighty Shogun's chosen envoy. But with you by my side, we will emerge victorious. Let's go! was an extraordinary match. Oh, I don't know much about swordsmanship, but even I was caught up in the tense atmosphere of the arena. My heart's still pounding even now. Your opponent's moves kept surprising Paimon, but it seems like the two of you were prepared for that. Traveler, Miss Kamisato, congratulations on winning the exhibition match. Hey, it's you came to watch the competition, too? I was ordered by the Almighty Shogun to observe this competition. You two displayed remarkable swordsmanship and cooperation. Not only did you present the beauty of the sword arts to the audience, I was also able to learn quite a bit myself. I'm flattered. All of you have been busy with various preparations for the competition. Today marks a perfect ending to this warrior spirit event. Your efforts have been recognized by the almighty Shogun. I must return to the Tenshukaku and report on what happened at the exhibition match to the almighty Shogun. Everyone, please excuse me. By the way, does everyone have plans now? If not, why don't we go to Uyu restaurant for a victory meal? Great idea! We've been so focused on the competition lately that it's been a while since we've had a good meal. Let's go! <sighs> uh? Oh, it's nothing. The effects of winning are only now starting to sink in. Kujo Sara said that she learned a lot from the fight, and so did I. Although the audience members might not have noticed, there were many moments where I would have been in trouble if it weren't for you by my side, drawing away the opponent's attacks. Without you, it would have been impossible for me to win on my own. It's just as I expected. My swordsmanship is still far from your level. Really? Hearing you say that makes me want to spar with you all of a sudden. To tell you the truth, I've been hoping for an opportunity to spar with you ever since we first met. That wish was half fulfilled today at the exhibition match. Sure. But... Until then, make sure you take good care of your sword. If I ever manage to steal it one day, your life will also be in my hands. <laughs> I've always wanted to say something like that. Did it sound strange? What's the hold up here? What are you talking about? <laughs> we were just talking about having a match to determine which of us is the superior sword fighter. Wow, you are so serious when it comes to swordsmanship. But aren't you friends with the Traveler? Why do you need a match? It's precisely because we're friends that we should spar often and learn from each other. Oh, guess that kind of makes sense. 
traveler. Keep all I just said a secret? Huh? What did Ayaka say? Nothing. Let's get going. Oh. 